Welcome to the AI for Good Global Summit. I'm delighted to be joined now by Jovanke von Wilsdorf, songwriter, musician, and also founder of the Diana AI Song Contest. Hi. So I've got to know, what's, well, what's the song contest? Oh, we found it in 2020, actually, because um, I was at that point giving workshops for musicians and to uh, taught them how to use AI tools, music tools, in a way that's actually inspiring and not taking away their creativity. And I felt that there was so much interest, and I thought, like, how do I get these musicians actually to work with it, and not just in the workshop, but in, on a longer term? And then I thought, well, Diana, first of all, sounds better than Oscar. Then Diana, you see the second and the third letter, switch it, it's AI, the rest is DNA. So that was the name for the contest. And I thought, why don't we make a Diana AI song contest where people do not send in stuff, because people would like f tinker around and do a stupid thing and try to sound artsy, but actually get skilled musicians for one day into a camp situation, put them in groups, and within one day, the each group of three musicians and seven AI tools write and produce a song with AI and produce a video. And then, what well then? We need an award ceremony. So the next day, there should be an award ceremony. That's what we did. And we do it this year for the third time. And what's beautiful is that even though all the musicians use the same AI tools, the genres they come up with, the songs they come up with, could not be more diverse. It's like we have from quirky rock bangers to really artsy, techy stuff to total pop songs that are beautiful. People, some, some people bring a cello or a guitar, so it's really about cooperation. It is not about generating. It is about using AI as a creativity tool, not a creative tool. Okay, but Yvanka, I'm a big fan of world music. I like yes. flamenco. I like yes. the Senegal sound. I like the 70s, Neil Young, Janis Joplin. They didn't need AI to come up with amazing music. No, and Beethoven didn't need an electric guitar. So there are so many kinds of music. And AI, anyway, will not replace music, but inspire some musician and give a new approach to certain kinds of writing. And music is evolving, but also it's so, there's so many different kinds, why should AI be everywhere? As an electric guitar, as in synthesizer. We don't need a synthesizer in a classical concert. Or we can, but we don't have to. So if we feel, if we find out that AI can actually inspire us, then it's great. Then it's an extra tool we can use. You're here, of course, for the summit as yes. well, because you're doing a, a partnership. So tell us about that. Yes. So. Um, what I will do is uh, I met Sophia and Hansen Robotics in April at the Salz 21. That was another. So we, 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 work, we worked together and thought we should really do something together. So what we are doing here is Sophia and I make a robo roadshow, which means we play each other's uh, snippets of wonderful AI human collaborations. Our first Robo Roadshow will tap into the classic aspect, the history of AI, and we talk a, like, a little bit about it. It's like a podcast with video, kind of. So there's a second part of the Robo Roadshow where we go into a state of the art artist who work with AI. And since I do the Diana AI Song Contest, since I am a creative consultant, I know all these artists who are super creative but are infused by AI. And I got some of these artists to collaborate. So what we do is we tease certain of these collaborations. We also show something of Mario Guzman, who actually works with um, very differently trained algorithms. Because what we do notice is that most algorithms in AI are trained on Western data. And that is kind of limiting the inspiration. So even if everything is open and we can go any style, the data it's trained on, on is Western. So Mario Guzman comes from a totally different uh, direction. And so we're trying in this one like half an hour just to tap into all these things. And um, 
hopefully we have a lot of fun and even more hopefully the audience will have some fun. Fantastic. Looking yes. forward to listening and watching that. So thank you very much. So that's Jovanka von Wusdorf. Yes. To <laughs> who will be showing off her musical AI themed skills over cool. the next few days. Thank you very much. I thank you. Bye bye. More coming up from AI for Goods Global Summit over the coming days. Thank you.